Morning, everybody. Welcome back to BYT. As you can tell by today's attire, it's a glorious day on this roller coaster weather that we're having. Whew. It's a brisk 38 degrees out and dropping. Uh, we hit our high today uh, while I was sleeping. So I'm going to get done what I can. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do work on today. Um, I'm going to walk around and figure it out. If I can maintain my warmth, I'll, uh, the more I can get done. See you in a minute. The first thing I did is I ratchet strapped my doors back to the bus and got the heater going just to cut back on the wind and maybe take a little bit of this chill off I think today I might come through here get my test light out find my wires and there's a hole I was showing you yesterday I need to enlarge it right in there I need to enlarge it put a rubber grommet in uh, Stop any chafing of my wiring. So I think that might be my thing today is find the brake lights, blinkers, headlights, or my tail lights. And then possibly pull my wire rolls out and run myself some uh, extensions. And I will do these right. I'll solder them, heat shrink them, put them in a housing. So, I don't know what the rest of them wires are going to be for. I guess, uh, you know, the flashers that used to be on here, um, the rear door. Um, like I said, my fuse block is unlabeled. That is going to be quite fun to go through and try to figure out what's what. You know, there's a lot of stuff to the rear. You know, I know that rear AC right there is the one that's the wires are hanging outside power vent I believe was that that is no longer there you know this is my fuse panel back behind here which I'm gonna have to when I pick this back up and set it back in place I will have to make sure all my wires are good but there's the two holes I had to plug from the outside <coughs> where the stop sign was. So <laughs> that's going to lead right into my wiring harness and fuse block. Don't want that left open. So yeah, right now it's take the chill off. Try to anyways. And maybe I'll clean up in here a little bit. Get rid of some of the stuff I don't need in here anymore. Um might even you know go through this mess um, there's my pillar the pillar runs up along there uh, you know just kind of get rid of the stuff I'm not gonna use you know, we shall see see my all right there you have it one one word down two more to go a couple letters right now I'm gonna go inside warm up change my pants to something a little warmer change my socks to something a little warmer and come back out uh, I did get my test lights inside the bus and some lubrications I'm gonna uh, lubricate the brake pedal and see if we can find uh, the wiring and which ones they are I'll take some tape and I'll tape them and mark get it all done See you in a minute. All right, going back at it. I added sweatpants, warm socks, fur slippers. So uh, we'll see how long that lasts. There you have it. One more word off the bus. Got that word, them letters, and then of course the school bus on the front. So 
See you in a minute. Woo-hoo. It's all off. Yeah. Have to do that center strip with that wheel. Get that reflective off of there. I got one more to do. It's up on the front. See you in a bit. Well, that was pretty easy. Got your right turn signal, left turn signal, and tail lights. I believe this one's going to be the brake light. That's the only one I haven't figured out yet. So, but I got my right, my left, and my tail lights. So and all I have to do is get them labeled, wired up, hole drilled, wires ran, you know, the whole nine yards. See you in a bit. On another note, that sign on the front of the bus that says school bus is not vinyl. It's actually paint. So that one's going to be sanded and painted. Here's something I just found very interesting. I got one, two, two AC compressors on the motor. Pretty cool. One of them, obviously, is not working. Those are the hoses. I got to trace down, see what set of hoses here go into that back unit. And I believe it's this set here. Because this hose over here goes that way. And I believe that's the one that comes up this pillar through here to this unit. So, I believe this is the set I've been disconnecting underneath. So, I got to trace her down and make sure it's the right one before I disconnect and pull them out. Because one of them, still, that one still works. The one up there. So, I believe that's that one. And then this is the one for the rear unit, which has been disconnected. Pretty cool, I thought. See you in a bit. Well, there it is. And all its hoses and wires and everything. I have not come up here and seen which one of these compressors it goes to. I still have to trace that down. But it is now starting to snow outside. So I think I'm going to close her down and call her good for the day. It makes a short day, but it's better than snow. Oh my, come on, close. Just to keep the wind from blowing it open. Like it matters, right? <laughs> uh, okay, talk to you in a bit. All right, everybody. Sorry for the short video today. But it is just way too cold. Now it's starting to snow. So I got a little bit accomplished. Figured a little bit of stuff out. So I know where my blinker wires are. I know where my tail light wires are. AC. Oh. The coil. I don't know what it is. It was disconnected. Now it's actually off the bus and all the rubber hoses that were hanging and dangling and wires and all that stuff so I'm going to call that good for today uh, whatever you're doing out there you be safe you have yourselves a great day if you like today's content please like share subscribe and leave a comment down below BYT out we see you tomorrow